problem is simple enough. How do you take dirty water like this and turn it into clean water like this at a cost very close to nothing? It's not easy. Globally, more than three quarters of a billion people don't have access to clean drinking water. And that number is surely headed up. The human population growth is growing in such a speed and all the resources are strained. Chemist Ben Shao believes he can help. With support from the National Science Foundation, he and his team at Stony Brook University are hard at work on a new design in nanometer scale water filters that could soon make clean drinking water affordable to even the poorest of the poor. In my mind, the human society is like a pyramid. So if we increase the cost of filtration, that means we can only serve the technology to the top 30, 40% of the pyramid. If we can lower the cost of the filtration, we can lift the base of the pyramid. Traditional water filters are made of polymer membranes with tiny pores to filter out bacteria and viruses. Shao's filters are made of fibers that are all tangled up and the pores are the natural gaps between the strands. Then the uh, idea come to us that uh, if we make the fiber size very, very small in the range of submicrons or nanometers, then we can really filter out very small molecules. So the spinning speed is 40 millimeters per minute. The team's first success at making the new nanofilters uses a technique called electrospinning to produce nanofibers under an electrical field. Now they're looking to drive costs down even further by using biomass nanofibers extracted from trees, grasses, shrubs, even old paper. So this means that we don't have to build new polymer plants in sub-Saharan Africa or South America, that we can teach people how to make filters with their locally accessible and sustainable biomass or bio-waste, including newspapers or cardboard boxes. Chow says it will still be a few years before the biomass filters are ready for widespread use in developing countries. Pure drinking water is a basic human right. So the grand challenge is for me is to make it much cheaper, much more affordable. So people living in the bottom of the human pyramid can also afford it. Using nanotechnology to bring clean water to the world, you might call this a trickle-down solution. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.